Hello viewers, I bring you greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and I pray that by His grace, what you are going to hear today will defy your life unto salvation in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, I ask that you will speak to your children, that these words of life will be words that will lead us unto salvation in Jesus' name. Amen. A story was told about three trees. Three trees that was planted on top of a hill. These trees, before they, become, they became trees, they were still plants. And so as they were growing up, they, each of the plants said or made three different wishes. The first plant said, when I grow up, I want to be used to build a mighty ship a mighty ship that will be carrying or conveying rich men kings and queens across the oceans and be moving from one country to another i don't want to be used to be built you know to be used to build a small boat i don't th i don't like a small boat i want to be used to construct a very mighty ship that will convey kings and queens and mighty men of valor across one country to another. That was the wish of the first plant. And secondly, the second plant said, oh, your wish is very wonderful. But then I do not want to be used to, be, to build or construct a ship. I want to become a treasury where, where, where gold and silver and diamonds will be kept. I want to be used to construct a, a treasury where mighty men will keep money and I will store money for mighty people. And uh, that was the wish of the second plant. But then the last of the plants said, uh, your wishes are very wonderful, but I do not want to be used for anything. I want to be here and live forever. I want to grow as tall as possible and glorify the name of God on top of this hill. I don't want to die. I want to be here. I want my branches from time to time as the breezes are blowing. I want my, my branches to be glorifying the name of God. That is my wish. Now this was the end of their wishes and as time goes on, it came to a time that um, Timberman came and they tried to cut down the first tree. By this time, they must have grown so big. And the first very tree was so gladdened and happy because it was convinced and uh, you know, believed that they, he was going to be used, it was going to be used to construct a mighty ship. But lo and behold, they will cut it down and use it to construct a boat. The second plant, which wished to be used to construct a furniture that would be used as a treasury, was cut down as well. And it was quite unfortunate that it wasn't used to construct a treasury where gold and silver and diamonds were kept. It was used to construct a table and it was kept in the manger. And when it was time for the last plant to be cut down, the last plant, the tree cried out aloud and said, oh no, I don't want to be killed. I want to remain in this very hill. I want to glorify the name of the Lord with my wings, with my, with my branches. I don't want to die. Please do not cut me down. But unfortunately, it was cut down. Now, to the greatest amazement or, 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 or surprise of this very plant, the first very, uh, the second plant, which was used for a table, was the very table where Jesus was laid when he was born in a manger. Yes, this second plant wished to be used as a treasury. But I tell you, it was used to carry the greatest of treasure the world has ever known, and that was Jesus. The first plant that wished to be used as, uh, uh, you know, to construct a mighty ship.
to convey rich men and mighty kings and queens across the countries was not used as a ship, but was used as a boat. And this was the boat which Jesus stood on and preached the Gospels. This was the boat that carried Jesus from one side to another to preach the Gospel. And the last of all, the tree that never wanted to die was the tree that timbermen, soldiers, Roman soldiers came and took and surprisingly, it was the tree that was used to crucify our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, to these various different trees, they were disappointed when they were used for several other things which they did not dream of. But I tell you the truth, they were used for greater things. So it is a man today. Humanity has always thought to be used for something. We have always dreamt you know, to, to be great people on earth. We have dreamed to accomplish several things in our life. But it is quite unfortunate or disappointing that we are not used for what we plan. But I tell you, God has a plan for you. That is why in the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, from verse 5 and 6, the Bible says, Trust in the Lord your God and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, verse 6, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. We only need to lean and trust in God because our knowledge is not sufficient. The Bible says that there is a way that seemeth right in, in the eyes of man, but the end is destruction. That is why it is expedient for you today to trust in the Lord. Lord your God and lean not on your own understanding because your own understanding is limited your own understanding is not sufficient your own understanding is not good enough but the knowledge and wisdom of Jesus Christ is enough for you that is why you need to rely totally on Jesus your plans might not be working out as you have always planned but I tell you God has a better plan for you God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Dear Father in heaven, I thank you for having blessed us. I pray that your children will be comforted and blessed with these words of life from your scriptures. I believe that as they trust in you, you will never make them to be ashamed. Thank you so much for prayer answered. I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.